it's iconic. I put the car hard on as soon as I bought it. Beast mode, the game that we play come with cheat. Game six of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Boston Celtics have had a long, long journey and are on the cusp of achieving their dreams. With everything on the line, they could be crowned champions with one more victory. Only one obstacle remains as they go up against the Bulls. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. We are winding down these Eastern Conference Finals. We can see the end of the tunnel from here. Game six with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. And it's Williams at the five down low. And for Chicago. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. And it's Ball in at the point. You look at the Bulls. Looking to even the series here, Greg, on their home floor. And force a deciding game seven on the road. It won't be easy, but standing this close to the championship round, plenty of teams would trade places to be right here. So off the tip, it's Boston. Smart deciding where to go with it. Brown outside. Rebound by the Bulls. They look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. You've got to stand in and deliver from the free throw line, even in a tough environment, and they failed to do so. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. And slam dunk by Tatum. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. Outside, Levine. Williams sets a screen for Levine. Passes it to Williams. He gets that one. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Out of minute played so far here in the first. Tatum against DeRozan. Tatum's shot is off. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Williams, a screen on Brown. Bean passes to Williams. The shot comes out, so the Celtics will take it the other way. Tries the spin move. Here's Brown. Tries again. And Williams lays it in. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Levine dishes to Vucevic, and the shot goes down. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Celtics have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Outside Tatum. Smart gets the assist. Okay, Jason Tatum showing a little strength on that play. Pushing through the contact. Gets to his finish. That is pretty. Now here's Levine. Shot's good by Williams. He's back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Old. David. All right, Kevin, I caught up with Coach Henry Adoka. His main concern going into tonight's Game 6 was that some of his guys may view Game 7 at home as a safety net. He told them, you don't want to punt this one because you think you'll win the next one. Momentum is a monster. We can play one game, or we can play two. Kevin, we'll see if they can wrap it up tonight. Back to you. Thank you, David. Chicago leading by three. 
Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. And it's Vucevic missing. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. And I'll tell you, this is something you never like to see. No, obviously something that, you know, every player fears. The NBA has made player safety a priority, but injuries continue to happen. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Grant Williams has checked in for Williams. Alinari comes in for Al Horford. Brodkin, he's checked in for Tatum. And it's wide in for Smart. Celtics trail by three. And White kicks to Gallinari. Pass to Brown. From past the arc. Hands it from downtown. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. Green in the post. Gallinari on him. Count it. Good. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Gallinari with the steal. The pass to White. It's Drummond with the rebound. And George Drummond with it. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Green with a screen for DeRozan. Feeds it to Green. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Celtics trail by four. Pass to Brown. He takes it in. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. Andre Drummond picks one up. Well, you've got to appreciate the athleticism of Jalen Brown. This guy's a quick penetrator. He forces defenses to get physical with him. Richard, he's checked in for Boston. Second free throw, no good. Boy, guys, what extraordinary growth from Jalen Brown over the course of his young career. Tighter handle, consistency from deep. This guy is serious about his craft, and it's paying dividends. Now, here's Brown. This is it to Pritchard. Back to Brown. The tray. It's Drummond with the rebound. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. And the shot goes in. Boy, what a thing of beauty by DeMar DeRozan. His eyes are up. He locates his teammate. Just so pretty. Here's Brown, and it's sent back by Drummond. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. And so it's Chicago with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. Right back after this break. Ladies and gentlemen, your full view. And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Bulls. Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Marcus Smart is out there with Brogdon. And it's Williams at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Down low. Here's 
There's Tatum and slammed up by Tatum. Well, you have to admire how smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. The Bulls leading by six. Ball finds Levine. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. I think what you have to appreciate about Zach Levine is he is becoming such a well-rounded player, willing to share the basketball, willing to hit the boards, and certainly willing to become a more efficient shooter. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. And look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Kick by Vucevic. Levine with it. Williams picks him up. Yep, that one goes in there. Vucevic has got the lead up to nine now for the Bulls. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. Poked away. And here's the fast break. Paul leading the way. And there's the feed to Vucevic. Looks good. Is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Celtics trail by 11. Pass to Vucevic. In the corner, it's Levine. Vucevic is screen on Tatum. Levine passes to Vucevic. Back to Levine. Caruso kicks to Levine. Six to shoot. Dishes it to Vucevic. Can't connect from short range. The Celtics shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Tatum passes to Smart. Outside, Horford. And there's the pass to Tatum. Good on the three-point shot. Tatum's got seven points here in this quarter. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Levine's got five points so far. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. The Celtics making a switch here. White's checked in. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And that one's good, Brogdon. Yeah, they've gotten into a nice flow this quarter. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And a bucket like that one might be just what they need to cut into this lead. In against Levine. The dish to Vucevic. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got six assists here tonight. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Now here's Smart. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring in from him. Tatum's shot is off. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Dishes to Vucevic. A beautiful reverse lead. And it's a 12-point Chicago lead. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. And there's the foul. We're going Alex Caruso. That is his first foul of the game. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Javante Green comes in for Williams. Tamar DeRozan, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Dosumu in for Alex Caruso. Then for the Celtics, Alinari, he's checked in for Tatum. Brown comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Here's Drummond. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. 114 left now here on the second. Pass to Brock. Good 
good on the shot. Jalen Brown's got five now. Well, this is what they love seeing from Jalen Brown, the aggressiveness down near the cup. This guy's attitude, tremendous. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bull. Drummond sets the screen for DeRozan. He dishes it to Drummond. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got four assists in the game. Passes it to Brown. There's 37 seconds left in the second quarter. And they pick up two. Seven points in the game. Well, you like seeing Jalen Brown score the ball. This guy playing very well within the context of the offense. Green with a screen on Brown. Here's DeRozan. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. And I think because of that, they've gotten the better looks to start this basketball game. Here's Brown. The Bulls getting the bucket. Fires top of the key. And it's Boston with another. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. Green kicks to Drummond. The layup missed. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Checking in for the Celtics. DeRozan for three. He can't get it to go. Nikola Vucevic firing on all cylinders for the Chicago Bulls. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Andre, big first half. A lot of energy. What are you guys doing differently tonight? Active fans in the defensive end and really got us all hyped up. And you know, uh, the translates to the offensive end as well, too. So, you know, we're looking real good right now. We just got to put it together in the second half, too. Transition really working well for you in the first half, Andre. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Thanks for tuning in to our Game 6 coverage. A big lead through the first half for the Chicago Bulls. I'll guarantee you something right now. They wouldn't be leading without their bench. That second unit came out on fire. I don't know if that's a guarantee or if you're just spitting facts. That's a guarantee, Ernie. Checking out the circumstances for the Chicago Bulls. Still alive, but facing some long odds. How do they keep hope alive? Mm, well, I think those tough moments are what reveal a lot of character, Ernie. I mean, how you perform when things aren't going your way, that's what makes you a pro. And what makes you elite, it's not being in that bad position in the first place. Interesting point. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game, Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. Welcome back to Playoff Basketball on 2K Sports. This is the Eastern Conference Final. Nice game. Great performance by Nikola Vucevic. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's check in with David Aldridge for an injury update on Robert Williams. David. Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for the Celtics provided some information to us. He's getting looked at now for what the team is saying is a collapsed lung. Obviously something that is very serious and something they don't take lightly. For a team that is so close to making the finals, this is a huge concern. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. There's no question because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. DeRozan and Williams are the forwards. 
Ball and Levine are the guard set. And it's Vucevic in its center. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leader. In the third spot, Zach Levine. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. Alinari, he's checked in for Williams. And Brown drops them both. The Bulls leading by 12. Up top to Rosen. Guarded by Tatum. And Levine, here we go. Here's Williams. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And that one falls for Williams. Alex Caruso. He's checked in for ball. Brogdon, he's checked in for the Celtics. And both free throws good for Williams. Celtics trail by 14. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Tatum against DeRozan. Inside. Tatum shot is off. And so Caruso will bring up the ball for the Chicago Bulls. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. And the jam by Levine. Well, in the screen and roll situation, Zach makes the right decision. The Celtics shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Smart passes to Tatum. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. No good off the back of the rim. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. Levine looking around. He feeds it to Williams. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. When you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Well, how about the effort on the glass? Even with this lead, I love that they're still going after it. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Vucevic is screen on Brogdon. Levine. Well, Zach Levine draws a level of defensive attention that allows him to draw contact. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And he knocks down the first one. So for the Bulls. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. And it's Dosumu in for DeMar DeRozan. Then for the Celtics, Derek White comes in for Al Horford. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Looking to end the run. A shot by Pritchard, no good. The Bulls leading by 19. Drummond sets the screen for Levine. To the paint. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Malcolm Brogdon. Well, this has been the book on defending Andre Drummond on the interior. Make him earn it at the charity strike. It's his first trip to the line. The first free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Boy, one thing you can say about Andre Drummond, he is so steady. Statistically, it's the same story every year. And there's the foul. We're going Alex Caruso. That'll be his second foul of the game. One forty-six left in the third. Here's Pritchard. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Defensively, though, much improved here in the second half. They've limited the open looks, making them work for everything. Green with a screen for Levine. Feeds it to Green. Rebound, Boston. Brogdon with it. Now defended by Levine. 
pass to Pritchard. Tatum trying to break free. And nothing is falling for him right now. Chicago leading by 21. Green with a screen for Levine. Back to Green. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Green's got six. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Bulls making a switch here. Balls checked in. Austin also with the sub. Browns checked in. Each trip down becoming more important. And you need to string some successful offensive possessions together and play tough deep. White finds Brown. Drops in the tray. Brown's got five points now this quarter. Well, you've got to get out on Jalen Brown now. This is a young man who has shown great strides in improving his perimeter game. Levine with it, out guarded by Tatum. And Green gets it to go. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Levine against Brown, shoots from eight, and he nails the jumper. He's got 16. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Ball, the pass to Dosun. Drummond with a screen on Brown. Levine dishes to Drummond. Count that bucket. And that's now 10 points for Andre Drummond. This is what we call strength from a veteran big man. Andre Drummond, no stranger to taking punishment and scoring through it. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Bulls. As they end the third quarter with a tremendous 17-7 run. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown. Horford is out there with Tatum, and it's smart in at the point guard. Vucevic finds ball. Here's Dosunmu. Back to ball. DeRozan in the corner. And Tatum pulls it down. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Taken away by Williams. Now the pass to Dosunmu. And here is Williams. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. Vucevic is screen on smart. DeRozan with it. Picked up by Brown. Vucevic with the bucket. Let's look at the energy sticks. How the hustle game has been going for the bull. And they've shown great focus on the defensive end. Putting constant pressure on the ball. And really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. I think one of the things that also strikes me is their activity. Forcing turnovers. Coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. And it's Brown missing. And it's Williams with the ball for Chicago. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. That's their third straight make off an assist. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That'll be his second foul of the game. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Derek Jones comes in for Williams. Kobe White, he's checked in for Dosumu. And it's Drogic in for Lonzo Ball. Lamb, good. Pick works well there. Not much resistance 
from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. White against Lamb. White dishes to Brandon. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Chicago making some changes. Andre Drummond's checked in for Derek Jones. Bean comes in for White. And it's Alex Caruso in for Goran Dragic. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. And there's the foul. We're going Alex Caruso. And that'll be his third foul so far. Second team foul. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Smart passes to Tatum. Golinari a screen on DeRozan. And here's Tatum for three. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Pass to Horford. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And there's the foul. Going on, Alex Caruso. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Javante Green, he's checked in for Chicago. And then for Boston. Grant Williams is checked in for Horford. Light comes in for Jason Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Lock at six. There's Williams with the three. It's all in by the Bulls. Drummond's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Caruso's got his first basket of the night. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Trains the three-pointer. Three. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Here's Bradley. Doesn't go for him. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Brown inside the line. Rebound Andre Drummond. The Bulls have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Just tremendous tenacity and toughness out there tonight. In a pivotal game six, they came out firing big time victory for the Bulls. As one sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And we're going to have a game seven in these conference finals with their backs all the way against the wall. They came out with a clutch performance to stay alive. You, you can't say enough about the character they've shown in this game. I mean, they had no margin for error tonight. It was win or go home, and they took all that pressure and just really embraced it. I wouldn't bet against this group in Game 7. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Zach Levine. What a selfless effort tonight. He's done such a great job finding guys in their appropriate spots. On the wing, Levine from downtown, and Pritchard pulls it down. So Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. I think, Greg, they played with a little more uh, relaxing demeanor tonight, knowing this was it, now or never. And their season continues because of that, Kevin. How about forcing a game seven? This is big, and it's going to be an intense battle. I cannot wait. It'll be terrific. You're right. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Damar, this team is playing well together. How are you encouraging and fostering that sense of all of you being together and playing well? 
Um, we just making everybody comfortable. We're making each and everybody on the team comfortable. With the jump shots, with the attack in the basket, you know, even if it's on the defensive end. You know, we just giving each other confidence every time we practice. And it sure looks like it out there tonight, Mark. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.